In this video, I'll give you my honest opinion on if BookBolt is worth it for low content publishing. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, my name is Sean. And in this channel, we talk about self-publishing, building passive income streams and retiring early. So if you're interested in those kind of things, then make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. So in this video, I want to give you an honest opinion on if I genuinely think BookBolt is worth it if you're doing low content publishing. Low content publishing is becoming more popular and also BookBolt is becoming more popular as well as more people who do low content books, you know, is starting to use the software. But is it really worth it or is it all hype? So in this video, I want to show you what exactly is BookBolt, what it does and my opinion on whether it's worth paying for the software or whether you can do low content publishing without BookBolt. All right, so I am logged into BookBolt right now and essentially there's two parts when it comes to the BookBolt software that you get access to. You get the research part where you get a bunch of tools on you know researching keywords, niches, those kind of things uh, that you can use and also the creation size so you can go and actually create those book cover and book interiors. So let me show you the research side of the tool first. You know, this is how it looks in the dashboard. There is a tutorial for every single one. Essentially, you have access to 10 different uh, software. Starting with the search product feature, you can put your keyword, whatever type of book that you're trying to research more of. And then from there, you can, you know, segment this even more in different categories of low content books. When you search it, you get all these data, such as the average BSR, lowest price, highest price, etc. And then you will see all the top books as well as, you know, what kind of keywords uh, is commonly showing up in the title, the subtitle, the metadata here. So what other keywords people are using, right? Which will give you more ideas on different keywords you can go and target. Uh, related keywords and once again, you know, the best selling books and it's uh, BSR data. So it's pretty cool when it comes to trying to research. Uh, so that's one software. Let me show you the next one right here. So the second one that says seller is essentially, you know, being able to search your competitors uh, if you want to analyze their information more. This one, to be honest, I don't really use it, but this next one, the cloud feature is probably the best one in terms of, you know, the research side of BookBolt. So here's how it works. You can go and select, you know, top 100 to even top 500 bestseller books uh, in a certain category. So you can segment it by the category which is where it gets very, very cool. So let's say you wanna look at the top 100, you know, books in the coloring book space, right? And then from there, you can filter it even more. So let's say we only wanna see the top books uh, under 30,000 BSR, so around there. And for the price range, let's say we want something that's selling higher than $7 here. And from here, you can search, or, you know, if you wanna segment it even more, let's say you just wanna look at animal coloring books or space coloring books, or maybe mandala coloring books, right? You can put those keywords in here. So I'm gonna put animals uh, right here, and then we can go and search. And just like that, it'll pull all the coloring books that fits these criterias, and then you can go and analyze it. So you can see you know, how many reviews it has, when it was published, uh, the bestsellers rank, how much it's estimately making uh, in terms of sales every single month. So in terms of getting ideas, uh, when it comes to what kind of books, you know, should you create? Because obviously if something is selling well, then you want to model that, you know, get ideas from it and go and create something similar if you can, right? So in my opinion, this cloud feature is the best uh, feature when it comes to the research side of BookBolt. Now the next one, Book Scout, you can basically put the ASIN of the book and then get more data from there. The favorites tab allows you to save, you know, books that you want to monitor long term uh, in this page so that you can come back to it easily. So next they got the KDP category finder so you can enter keywords and from there you can find relevant categories. I wish that they showed the BSR uh, of the number one book in the category as well as, you know, the number 10th book in that category. Something like uh, Publisher Rocket does do that. But this one, you know, you just get the names of the category that you can go and add your book into. So personally, I use Publisher Rocket's category finder rather than BookBolt because I get a little more information. But if you don't have Publisher Rocket, then it can be useful. 
And the last tool when it comes to the research uh, section is KDP Spy, which is a Chrome plugin that you can get and then get some data directly when you're on the amazon.com store. So that's all the tools uh, when it comes to the research section. Once again, the best feature out of all these is the cloud feature. And that's pretty much the only one that I use personally, but this one alone is pretty useful. So next, let me take you over to the actual creation side of the tool. So you want to click on create here and you can go to BookBolt Studio. Let's go and create a new project. And from here, you can choose what kind of projects do you want to start? Do you want to make a paperback? Do you want to do a hardcover? So in this case, I'm just going to click on paperback interior as an example. Project name, I'm going to name it YouTube. And let's say we want to create a puzzle book. Okay, so puzzle book standard side is 8.5 by 11. So we're going to click on that. Keep it at black and white interior pages. And let's say we want 100 pages for this. So we can create a project here. And this is where it gets very, very cool. So every single page, you can customize it however way you want. And there's different elements here that you can add. So you can you know, add different uh, shapes here. There's text. So I'm just going to put the book title here. And you can click on it and move it up. So it's very similar to how Canva operates if you use Canva. And let's go and click on the text and put my name here as the author name. You can adjust this to align to center. Okay. Edit the spacing a little bit. Once again, move it to the middle. Okay. And obviously you want to play around with it uh, in terms of the designs. Another feature that BookBolt offers is this feature where it's integrated with Pixabay or Unsplash. So if you want to add some images, you can pull it directly from Pixabay or Unsplash and then put it into uh, BookBolt. So this is where BookBolt gets very, very powerful is if you click here, you can generate any kind of low content interior with a click of a button. So let's say you want a journal interior here, right? And there's three different types of journals. So you can pick which one you like. Let's just say narrow journal. And then from here, you can click on how many pages uh, within your book that you want these journals uh, to be, right? So you can click five pages here and you can customize it even more from here. Click on submit. So we can create different types of interior pages uh, doing the exact same way. So go back here, click on it. And let's say this time we want to create a mind finder, uh, kind of a puzzle pages, right? So we can click on four pages here, click next, enter the setting here. You can even add solutions after the puzzle pages, click on submit. And just like that, we have four mind finder pages, right? So it's really cool in the sense that, you know, if you want to generate puzzle books like this, then BookBolt is an all-in-one software because there's many, many different puzzles that you can generate. A lot of times, if you want to create puzzle books, you have to purchase different softwares that only offers mind finder or only offer word searches or only offer cryptograms. There is no all-in-one software that I know uh, like BookBolt that does puzzle books. And on top of that, you know, has different interior pages that you can use. Okay. And this is the solution pages right here. So let's just do one more. So let's go back to the templates library. And I'm just going to show you all the different uh, templates that you can create. So we got mazes here. We got bills tracker, career plan, uh, home to do's and so much more, right? We have even body measurement tracker. Obviously you want to customize these. Uh, you don't want to just generate and, you know, upload directly to KDP. Uh, you want to make this original, you know, to you by adding different text designs, etc. We have the dream journal as well. So there's a bunch of different templates that you can use, but for me, I like to use it for puzzles because the reason why uh, puzzle books is really great for low content is because you never run into duplicate content issue. Every single puzzle that is generated from BookBolt is original. So the moment you generate it, that puzzle is unique to you. So you can upload it to Amazon. You're not going to experience duplicate content issues. Puzzle books is also a little more of a higher content, low content so that you can sell it even higher. It's very easy to make. As you can see, it's just one click. So that is the best part about BookBolt is you can create these puzzles very easily. So we have Sudoku, word search, rectangular maze. Okay. Let's do Sudoku here. And let's do six pages of Sudoku. There's different difficulties you can select. So you can choose very easy all the way up to hard. So let's do hard. And this is a 16 by 16 add solution after the puzzle pages, click on submit. So now we have generated all these Sudoku puzzles just like that. 
And if you go to Amazon and look up Sudoku here, a lot of these books are selling really well. So I have this uh, tool called Book Beam, and it tells me how much these books are making. So this 2023 Sudoku with three reviews is doing $40 every single day. That is $1,200 a month. This book right here is doing $211 a day with 862 in the books uh, BSR. So if you go and open this book, right, and if you look inside here, and scroll down a little bit. The interior looks like this. It just is a collection of a bunch of different Sudoku books. How can you make this with BookBolt? Well, you generated the puzzle already. So all you have to do is move this down because we want more than one Sudoku. There is 12 Sudoku on one page. So if we basically want to do the same thing, we can just make it smaller, generate another puzzle, put it next to it and do the same thing, right? So essentially you can create a very similar book to this book that is making between 162 to $259 on BookBolt. So I think if you are doing low content and if you're doing puzzle books especially, then BookBolt is a very, very powerful tool. I think the cloud feature is very useful when it comes to research and when it comes to creating puzzle books and other low content interiors, BookBolt is a very affordable and probably one of the cheapest ways that you can go and get started with that. So in terms of the pricing option, there is a newbie and the pro plan. I recommend you get the pro plan just because it comes with the puzzle creation software, which we talked about. And I think that'll be the main reason why you will be getting BookBolt is to create those puzzle books. So obviously it's cheaper if you get the yearly option, that is up to you. If you wanna get it, the link is below this video in the description section, as well as a coupon code that you can use to get a discount uh, permanently on your subscription. So make sure to use that. So to summarize everything we talked about today, my honest thoughts on BookBolt is I think if you're trying to do low content and especially if you're trying to create puzzle books, this is the best way to go. I think it's a very cheap way to get into it rather than trying to figure it out yourself, trying to save this $20 a month. It's much better to just pay for it and just save a ton of your time, you know, trying to figure it out as well as creating those puzzles. I'd rather just pay a little bit, click one button and generate these puzzles rather than spending hours, right? So if you're not doing puzzle books, if you're not doing low content, then obviously this tool is not going to be for you. But puzzle books can be very profitable. As I showed you, I have done many puzzle books as well. It does pretty well. So, you know, if you're trying to do that, then BookBolt is a good way for you. So that is my thoughts on BookBolt. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy the video, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't yet. If you do want to check out my complete publishing course, as well as all the tools and resources that I recommend in your publishing business, then all the links are in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.